Time now for the ridiculous, and tonight, it's another edition of President Trump's name game, kind of like Scrabble, but with no rules and double word score for cursing. The president's latest target is Jerome Powell, the chairman of the Federal Reserve. Mr. Trump took a quick break for today from binge-watching Judge Jeanine to complain about interest rates and once again bash Mr. Powell, someone you may recall the president himself appointed. But in levying his insult on Twitter today, the compost pile from which his most fertile phrases bloom, the president failed to peg Powell with one of his go-to nicknames. Not lazy, not crazy, not lying, not crying even. No, when it comes to Jerome Powell, this was the best the president could do. Quote, where did I find this guy, Jerome? Oh, well, you can't win them all. Now, I assume that's intended to be a biting insult, but Twitter doesn't actually have a voice, so just typing the name Jerome doesn't work. I mean, that is his name. Where did I find this guy, Jerome? Oh, well, you can't win them all. That has no bully bravado, no snide, slitherin' snarkiness. For, for this tweet to work, the president is relying on you, the American people, to get in touch with your inner bully. You can do it. Jerome. Maybe that's too campy. Jerome. Maybe that's more like it. That's more presidential, I think. Jerome. It's like Jerome was comped a shrimp cocktail at the Trump Taj Mahal in 1990 and never said thank you for such a big, fat, beautiful, elegant shellfish, and Mr. Trump has never forgotten. The reason, though, one can assume that President Trump uses Jerome as an insult, aside from the fact that insults are his stock and trade, is because Mr. Powell is often called by his nickname Jay, and our very stable genius knows that. I have nominated Jay to be our next federal chairman. He's strong, he's committed, he's smart. Jay, 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 Jay. Now I would like to invite Jay to say a few words. So yeah, that was when he was uh, announcing him. So it's Jay on, on the good days, Jerome on the bad. No, nope, I don't think that was a very good one. Also, let me just state the obvious. There is nothing wrong with the name Jerome. I mean, no matter how the president says it or tweets it, it's a fine and distinguished name. There's Jerome Robbins, who directed Gypsy and West Side Story on Broadway. Jerome David Salinger, better known as J.D. Salinger, author of The Catcher in the Rye. That's a book if the president is watching. Even comedian Jerome Seinfeld, you might have heard of him. This also isn't the first time that the president has choked, to use one of his favorite words, when the nickname Rubber met the nickname Road. Remember, during the government shutdown, when Speaker uh, Pelosi canceled the State of the Union, the president sounded like he had a whole new name cooked up for her. He would cooked it up real good. We're supposed to be doing it, and now Nancy Pelosi, or Nancy, as I call her. Oh, snap! Burn! Nancy, as I call her. I mean, haters gonna hate, but beware. This president is a counterpuncher. He'll repeat your given name back right at you. And then he'll tear off your birth certificate. Boom! Just like that. As for Mr. Powell, if he's bothered that the man who gave him his job is now publicly heckling him, he's not showing it, which is showing a lot of Federal Reserve, which is what actual human adults should do. And as for President Trump, well, it is almost the weekend, and while many Americans enjoy a couple of days away from the noise, he'll no doubt have the volume cranked up on the golf course and on the ridiculous.